שמת בבא וברונה ורוחת קודשי הבבא בשמי הפה שם קודשי השם מוחת ים על קיוטוך ורזאי ותחת בשמי הוברה הלן לחמת סונקן הנקד יום יום השוק לחתיית הנדחתו פחנה שוק לנדני תחתירו נלן לשוק תורך לג'ורה ולא פסי למביש הסבב דיו חילה מלכיוטה וחילה ותשבוך את העלם על מין אמין הם אמית בשמי תא שמי תא להם מזמת עלה ריאל אותה לגורי פליס ריאל אספן שיינת ונתיה May the Lord bless you all. We're going to recap real quick on things that, on the numbers, we fall into the numbers, right? So we're going to recap. Ha mindi surah jaldib, der khal al nambure, quick. Khat akhchi, mukul al maat khal dead mishtadni wakh mut'i Allah. So we all can catch up with what we left on last time. It was, I think, number 40. Mut'i khal 40, yeah? Actually, before we got uh, to the small numbers, we went from 13 to 40, I believe, right? No, from 40. From 14, we went to 40, then we're going to continue after we get to 70. Sabab arpi u khamshi u shawi in a sacred to God, so yarigyatrikh modi la manayu. Ka modi na khahat kha pisham yukari ptawa kati shana namore. Arpi u khamshi u shawi. Aya har maqdayi la la khamshi u khamshi u khamshi u khamshi u khamshi u khamshi u khamshi. أي هاي 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 we talked about uh, we talked about one, we talked about two, and about three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We talked about all these numbers. We talked about all these numbers. Everybody knows the numbers, right? In a moment, we're gonna see that once Jesus, because eleven is not for us, once we reach ten, what happened? From ten? Then it exactly. It means we are complete in, in the Lord, and that is when He comes and He takes us to heaven. No? He takes us to heaven. But what happened? It says we're going to meet Jesus in the air, right? We're going to meet Jesus in the air. So this is before His second return. So what did we say? 11 is not for us because 11 is what? Judgment. Judgment. Come on. Because he came like a sheep, he's going to come like a lion. a lion. Right? So 11 is judgment. Because we said 10 is perfection. Once we reach perfection, then that is when we deserve to go to heaven. When the church reaches perfection. So, Anitina, Bnuna Bnate, will not going to be left behind, will be taken to heaven. Anitina, Bnuna Bnate, with Peshishkile. Musket and Shmaya. And where do we read that? We read that in, in Matthew 24, 27, that Jesus will come as lightning. I need a lightning that we're going to meet him in the air. Why? Because that is for the church. But if we go further, his second coming, when we read from 30, we're going to read from uh, Matthew 24, 30, then we're going to see his second coming. Time for judgment. For judgment, and that is where we go wrong. People think they will be judged. If you think you will be judged, you have a problem. If you always think about judgment, you will have a problem. Because Jesus promised us no judgment for us from this life to the next. So, so Jesus gave us that promise, but why you want to put yourself into judgment all the time? I don't deserve it. Well, there's not, there is no any other cross. This is the only cross. This is it. This cross has a, a depth and a width and a height that no man can understand. It's beyond our comprehension. So. So once we are on the 10 completion, 10 is perfect, it's perfection. It means from Adam to Noah, we said 10 fathers. And after Noah, there was flood. 11 is flood. 11 is judgment. So 11 is not for us. So what happened? 
Once we reach here, what does it say? Jesus will return. First time you're going to see the clock going back. First time we're going to see Jesus will return. Jesus will return. Jesus will return. Why? Because he's going to come back for the ones that are left behind, and that's the judgment. I, that's not for us. See? That's why. Once we reach 12, now we are a thousand years with Jesus Christ. So after the thousand years, he is coming back. First time the Bible says he's coming back. So he's going to return, okay? So he's going to come back, and that is where we are. So we talked about 13. Moment and 13 is what? Anybody remember what 13 is? What is 13? Number 13 is what? The dragon. What else is 13? Chaos. Chaos. magana. Ila chaos on earth, right? So what happened? 13? 13. 13 represents all governments created by man and inspired by Satan, right? And inspired by Satan. So Nimrod was, was a mighty hunter, but he was, we, we knew that he was the 13th in, in Ham's line. generation. So, Meran 13, Lemach Shekhla Gumodi, your hotels. You don't find the 13th floor. Mostly in the hotels, you don't find 13th floor, right? Spy. So what happened? We can see the dragon is mentioned 13 times in the book of Revelation. Revelation 12, 13, and 20. King Solomon spent seven years to build the temple. But he spent how many years to build his own house? 13. 13 years it took him to build his own house. But to build God's house, seven years. Right? Very good. We talked about that, lah. Huh? Okay. Jesus mentioned 13 things that defile a person, a person, and that was in Mark 7, 20 through 23. Ishmael was 13 when, when he was circumcised, but Isaac was eight days old. That's new creation. Eight, eight is new creation. Okay, very well. So then we went to 14, and 14 represent Modi, Ila, deliverance and, sal and salvation. Deliverance and sal salvation. 14 day of the first month, um, Zimlan Basit, 14 day of the Passover. We talked about the 10, it was perfection. You find a perfect lamb on the 10. On the 10, you find a perfect lamb. No blemish. Perfect lamb on the 10th, they had to find. But on the 14th, they had to sacrifice him. On the 14th, they had. Why? Because on the 14th, we were delivered and we were given salvation. When? On the cross. So always on the 14th of Modimaran, with Nisan, in Apil Wahamasha Passover. Right? There's my Chick fil A. Okay. Um, so we talked about seven plus seven. It's a, a represents completion, but it's a double completion. Indicates double completion through Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus' ministry in flesh was completed. Jesus' sacrifice ended or fulfilled the need for animal sacrifices. So what does that mean? It means we were delivered and we were given salvation. So Kamadar Basar Ila for deliverance and salvation Sabab Allah Hamere on the 14th on the 14th has to be Passover. The Passover, the sacrifice. The sacrifice was done on the 14th, but on the 10th they had to find a perfect, a perfect lamb. No blemish, nothing on the tenth. Tenth, ila perfection. La? Very good. So on the fourteenth, ila? Ila deliverance. Kamodi, sabab parme wale o arba. So, and then fourteen. 
The year of the Lord is mentioned 14 times in the book of Proverbs. Of the Proverbs. We go to 1, 7, and then 29. 2, 5, and so on. So this is for your information. Remember, I'm going to take it forever. In a moment, the fear of the Lord. Did I say the year? The fear. The fear of the Lord. It's the tonics. The fear of the Lord is mentioned 14 times. Bible mentions three sets of 14 generations. We've seen that. generation. <laughs> generation, 14, 14, 14. go one through seventeen. So Tutasar iwa chaos iwa iwa ila ila malkut al satan. Go thirteen. In Abuzayr, you are better iwa deliverance. Kamodi, because now there is a fight on earth. Now there is a war, right? But now on the fourteen, we're gonna be delivered again on the new earth. Now we're getting ready to come to the new earth. Why? Because now we're we're where we're in heaven. We're with Jesus, right? So. We don't have to worry about 13, we don't have to worry about the war. Because that's all the chaos that's going to happen for the people that will be left behind. So, Momiri, nobody's judging you. You're judging yourself. You're giving the power to, to the one that doesn't have power. I don't want to mention his name because it's not worth it, you know? So, you're giving him the power, you're giving him the keys. It's up to you. Once you have Jesus Christ, you're done. That's it. You wash your hands from everything. You're victorious. You're victorious over your enemy. You're done. Lahanun prisa kadijmu. La makhrun shumme. Lela lazm. La murun ana tazin al diwan wa ana khatai wa inid khatai inid budai jamu khatai. You know what? You don't deserve nothing there. Because you should. You shouldn't. When you plan it, in your heart, when it's in your heart, when you plan it, then you really don't deserve to be saved. Because why would you do that? Because now, you are doing it on the expenses of this. So if you have this on you, your judgment is bigger. If you go the wrong way. Because now you are you you are you are committing all your sins against this. That's it. You <laughs> Trust me, guys. We're done. I am victorious over him. He is under my feet. He has no power over me. He is done. In my world, he does not exist. If he exists in your world, you have a problem. He should not exist in your world. If he exists in your world, you know what that means? It means he is more than welcome. Because God let him come to you, because God knows the outcome, and God knows that Job is going to win the fight, but he knows at the same time Satan is going to lose the fight. But Satan doesn't know that he's going to lose the fight, otherwise why would he get into the arena and fight? 
kamodi satana palishwa min yukina in yatiwa bi khasir wa alqash ina alaha shukla kamo sab yatiwa alaha ka yukina bi khasir so ima ta ka satana ka palish no ho de mun sab kamo sab alaha kam sha ka sab khasir ka palish ba un khifa and god chose you for that but he does not exist in your world so you shouldn't be afraid of him but but in revelation god has made it clear that the enemy is the accuser yeah day and night it mm -hmm. specifically says so yeah we are being tempted especially when we come to the cross we realize how corrupt we are but how much power you give it your enemy when you say i am a sinner and i am weak and i can't that, fight no 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 huh. i can do all things through christ who strengthens me exactly but we are sinners and we can't deny that but i'm not sitting here focusing on the negative when you say i am a sinner when you say i am a sinner what is the biggest sin that you think of that's just, my question just everyday faults what what is a sin anything that goes against the will of god doing my will instead of his but what is a sin still how can i sin against her hurting her exactly. there you go did you do you do you hurt people? Do you send people sleep at home crying? Do you do you hurt the soul? And that is a sin. If you don't, it's not a sin. Because who are you sinning in? Put it in. Do you hurt the soul? He adjusted Khayana, at Yazabeta, Dam Khabachia, Yan Jan Jura. This is what I want to get to the bottom of. I know you eat a lot of chick fil A. That's a sin. Huh? <laughs> like to if you hurt yourself, of course that's a sin because you're hurting your soul. If you take drugs, you're hurting your soul. That is where you sin against your soul. But that's what Shabir quit that whole time. So what is it? So I in Marakalumari in Shakla drugs you are juicy can. So if you're gonna if you're gonna hurt yourself, that's that's another soul you're hurting, right? But do you is that what it is? Do you know what we And that is what I don't understand about Christianity. Christianity Marakali, every day I have to say I am a sinner. No! Because you're bringing that to yourself, and that's our weak point. That's why it says, Satan is like a lion roaring around us to hear us, so he can, what we say, so he can get to us. La? He is roaring around. Mara satana ila makhariya gergimana bukhdara wa katkhaze kamani maasibbal. Yad kamani maasibbal, eh? Hello, dear Mara. Ayana khabbaayin, ayana lima. What do then where is your fight? Then where, show me somewhere Saint Paul said that he said I am a sinner. I, I I I am a sinner. That's right. He's saying that, right? But he's not keeping saying if 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 if, if I deserve the salvation, he's trying to say that I sin more than anybody else because he killed all the Christians, right? In a matter if I deserve that salvation, how much you are? La? How much you are? And that's what the whole thing is about. Hey. If you are worse than the thief that was next to Jesus, you have a problem. If you are worse than the thief that was next to Jesus, in need of Mujma Surah Mendo Jalali Iwadibni Mushikha, it's a problem. Yes, you do. Yes, you do have a problem. If he if he was worthy of going to heaven, to paradise, then you have a big problem if you are worse than him. How about we overcome our sins? We have to overcome, right? Well, when you become a new creation. Yeah. So, so let's look at it this way. If, yeah, you, if you go 10 years back, you weren't this moon that you are, right? Right. So the 10 years back, you can say, yes, I was a sinner. But now when, from all what you went through, and you went like a gomara, Allah, I'm going to take you just like gold, and I'm going to clean you up, and I'm going to bring pure gold out of you, right? And those are going to be my sons and daughters. And that is why we say when you reach number 10, you're cooked, you're done. You can't go back. You know why? Because there's angels watching. They won't let you go back. Abraham. I think my thing is realizing who we are without Christ. I'm not saying to sit here and push on the fact that we're sinners. 
But we have to realize that only by His blood we are made righteous. Yeah, but you're done. Why you gotta keep mentioning him. that? This is what I don't understand. Because apart from Him, we are bad. If we but why you're apart from Him? But I'm saying if we don't take every single idea captive to the obedience of Christ, <coughs> we will fall short and we will sin. And it's what makes you do that? Not taking every idea captive to the obedience of Christ. What makes you do 